Hello everybody, SBZR here, and welcome to Portal Revolution. Ooh, what was that up? Anyway, welcome to Portal Revolution. Um, this is apparently a portal mod slash game, fan game, that takes place before Portal 2, but after Portal 1. Like, in between them. Uh, so this is gonna be very interesting. The Human Resource. That is the first level. So yeah, let's jump into this and let's see what this one's all about. Because I frankly love Portal. I've played both Portals. They're awesome. I love them. <laughs> They're some of my favorite games. Ooh. Oh. Oh wait, hold on. One second. Did I remember to turn on subtitles? Just in case. Whoa. This is really good looking. Am I able to move at all? No, I'm not. Okay, so we're in like one of the habitation beds from Portal 2. You know, where you wake up, where you wake up at the beginning. Morning test subject. You have been in suspension for 72 days. The Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center congratulates you on your 36 year sleep anniversary. What? You have been selected as a potential candidate for our Human Emergency Response Team. Please review the agreement provided on the nearby monitor. The mouse sensitivity feels a little wonky. Where is. Where's the near robot? What the, the hell? Emergency response team. You will now participate in an advanced difficulty testing track where your problem solving skills, athleticism, and response to increasingly hazardous conditions will be evaluated. Please uh, press the button to accept the terms. I don't want to. This is the this is the character, alright. Thank you for volunteering. The I immediately have an achievement. Three, two, one. Whoa. Observation rooms. Definitely Portal 2. This is the exact same area. Alright. This feels like Portal. Everything caught that vibe. Ooh, that's concerning to be above me. Especially considering the stuff on the floor is already interactable. I'm sorry, do you need me for testing or helping? That's just something from actual Portal 2. <laughs> Alright. So, my question is, are we going to have to deal with GLaDOS at all? Actually, no. If this is between Portal 1 and Portal 2, we shouldn't have to deal with GLaDOS. I don't think. Watch they, like, throw GLaDOS Test at us. subjects may experience symptoms of mental defects after long-term chemically-induced hibernation. I'm out since there's a little love. in a brain damage evaluation survey to determine just how damaged your brain is. If you believe your brain is sufficiently operational, press the button in front of you and continue the test. Nah, I'm brain dead. <laughs> Alright. Very good. Please walk through the portal and continue testing. Your self-reported status is more than sufficient for testing. Ah, yes, yeah, not like human instinct kind of drifts towards pushing red buttons. This feels like it has weight to it, too. But the cube is nice. 
Okay, so we just do puzzles. That's literally the entirety of what we do. Oh, I see what you do here. That's a pretty simple puzzle. Start us off simple, start us off simple. Nice, nice, nice. Use the brain. Brain work good. Please be advised that noticeable damage to eyesight is not part of any test protocols, but it's an unintended side uh, effect of the average uh, science material water. emancipation uh, drill, which in uh, semi-rare <laughs> cases may emancipate some of the light sensing rods and cones inside your head. Ah Yes, let's just emancipate our eyes real quick. Okay, I'm about to get the portal done, it seems. Gimme. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. As a candidate for the Human Emergency Response Team, you are expected to adapt to all dangerous situations, and as such, will not be informed about the device's safety hazards. Okay, so just go over here. Whoa. A little laggy. Uh, back in Portal. I haven't played Portal in a long time, actually. I missed playing Portal. I've been meaning to, like, play some, like, uh, modded, like, Portal maps. Like, Portal 2 maps. Because there's some really good-looking ones. There's also, like, some really good, just, like, Your modded games. Your performance in the next test chamber oh. will be timed to measure puzzle solving and execution speed during extreme wind and weather conditions. In the rare case that wind and weather conditions appear to be ordinary, please stay idle in the entrance foyer until the desired conditions are met. Okay, you want me to what exactly? How do you expect me to get past that? Unless... You expect me to do this. That all you- that, that, that really all you expected me to do? The fuck am I supposed to do here? Oh, just walk on the thing? I was expecting more, considering the portal bits there. Probably something secret you can do there. Okay, so there's the thing, there's the button. Oh, I see. It's another one of the rather simple things. That's not very complex at all. In fact. There we go. Ah, but I need to bring the thing with me. I see. That's where the complexity comes in. Alright. And stop! Congratulations, test subject number one. You have set the world record for this exercise, and now officially hold first and last place on the leaderboard. <laughs> so the first and only person who's ever done it. Noted. <laughs> oh, I, I, I always loved the little animation screens around the exit thing. They're rather nice. I love it just says, please remain calm. It's just like, please remain calm. You're not going to die. <laughs> Okay, what do we have here? We're going with a laser next, really? Already seven. Okay. The next test may contain concentrated amounts of electromagnetic radiation that may be harmful to the retinas of some humans. The Enrichment Center recommends to solve this test with closed eyes, as health insurance will not be provided for this specific exercise. In case the light-sensing rods and cones of your eyes have previously been emancipated by an emancipation grill, feel free to ignore the prior warning. Hmm. What do we... How do we do that? 
Oh. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. To an extent. Uh, first off, we need to do this. Then we need to set that up. Go through it. Grab this. And easy peasy lemon sweezy. Oh! That's a new feature. That was not in Portal. Okay, that's new. Okay. So just jump over that. You have completed the test. If you have not done so already, you are permitted to open your eyes. <laughs> I love that I love that he actually acts like we're gonna close our fucking eyes. Who is who is this AI talking to us anyway? I'd I'd love to know who the hell this is. Okay, th th those are pretty simple uh, portal puzzles. Those are pretty simple. Come on, give me something a little harder. Give me something a little harder. Come on. <laughs> did did the numbers just screw up on the... With the next test chamber? We would like to remind you that so far, no experiment has yet unproven whether or not weighted storage cubes are not incapable of not feeling pain when being emancipated. Ah, I see, so we're going with companion cube stuff now. Alright, first off. Okay, so I need the button there. That'll open that. And I go back through here. Oh, but how do I... Okay, this one's actually a little more complicated. Alright. There's not, in fact, seem to be anything I can do over here. Hmm. Uh, unless I can push the button and get something else out of it. No, it emancipates it. Oh, am I? Oh, wait. I'm gonna eat don't mind me, I'm just dumb. <laughs> My brain did not function there for like a good few minutes. <laughs> I'm just fucking dumb. <laughs> Alright, fine. Where's the orange portal anyway? Can I complete this one? Oh, no way, I know I need. Hold on. Put that there. Grab you. Put you here. In place of this one. Okay, that's not too complicated. It's just slightly confusing. If you're not paying full attention. <laughs> Okay, now where do I get my other portal? Please. Well done, candidate. You have successfully solved five test chambers. To ensure a high quality of human resources, the following test chambers may include elements of danger. Extra caution is advised. Good luck. Oh god. Is that a portal to the No. Why do you mean it's gonna include element of danger, you motherfucker? Whoa. That about launched me out of the map. Okay, that one was pretty simple. Hold on. Is that a cube playing music? 
That's cool. Okay. That's very On weird. On behalf of the Enrichment Center, I wish to apologize about the current state of our testing facility. Due to technical difficulties, we are unable to provide an experience of suitable quality at this time. Can't do that because I'll just fucking lose the portal. Hmm. First off, let me see what the hell's all the way down here. I may have to work my way backwards. Why is... Why is that the way that works? Oh, wait. Maybe I can get... It's not gonna work. Shit. Unless I can maybe. Maybe if I portal there. Okay, we're gonna juggle this. Yes, that worked! Okay, I got a block. It's very weird that they're playing music. Doing that again will delete that one. It does. God damn. In order to, sh in order to close the emancipation girl, you have to be here. But. Oh wait, I'm an idiot. Wow, I'm fucking stupid. I just, I don't know how much is actually gonna make it in, but that's fucking dumb of me. Wow. No, wait, that still doesn't work. Shit. Oh, but you know what does? Hold on. Same trick I just used to get the other one. There we go. Why are they both able to make music? There we go. Now the Emancipation Grill does not fucking matter. That took far too long. Jesus Christ, that was confusing. Not bad. Oh, hello. Cigarette room? Cigarette room? Cigarettes? Cigarettes? I can portal onto the walls in here. What happens if I leave a portal here? There's a way to leave the testing. There's access to a large number of rooms. We're not going to follow the main path yet. We're going to see what the hell else is here. Okay, so these are all the, like, observation rooms. Okay. I don't know how much of me being an idiot is going to make it into, like, the final video. But, God, that was stupid. <laughs> it was such a simple answer, and I just completely ignored the fact that I am thinking with fucking portals. <laughs> 
As a consequence of semi-recent events, some aerial faith plates could be misconfigured and launch objects into arbitrary directions. Be careful. Can I get my fucking other half of my portal gun? Well, that's definitely wrong. Give me a second. There. Try that. Good. That main plate is now properly calibrated. Oh. So that's why there are holes in the ceiling. Okay. I think we're puzzling together what the hell this puzzle is. Let's just go up here. Is there a reason to do that? Nope, not yet. Else maybe I can get through that window. Maybe get out. Hold on. Oh, I see what I need. Okay, so we need to do the um, classic portal funny. <laughs> that is a classic portal trick. And I love it. It is beautiful. Well, I guess... Would it be that, right? Yes. Okay. And now I just push that button, it drops there, push put portal there. And we hit the ball. Boom. And the portals. Well done. From now on, all aerial fate plates should be configured correctly. I promise. Are you sure about that, good sir? You seem to be very unsure of what's working in this facility. This is legitimately, like, the most portal portal thing I've played in a while. Well like, done, this candidate. You are nearing feels... the final test chamber. Solving this last chamber and completing the testing track will grant you membership into the Aperture Science Human Emergency Response Team. Okay. Do I get the rest of my fucking portal gun? <laughs> okay. Need to go over there. Probably with whatever the hell's in here. Oh no, this is for the light beam. Oh. How did I get there? How do I, how do, I do that without... Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll find out. How do I do that? This one's gonna be a little bit more complicated. But I think I am going to end this video here. I hope everyone has enjoyed it. If you wish to join the ranks of the SCP Foundation, don't forget to shoot the like button, slay those comments, and contain that subscribe button. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video, live stream, or whatever next. Peace, guys.